Hi. Now in this video I want to show you how to find the shortest distance between two skew lines. Let's say L1 and L2. I've written down their vector parametric forms where A1 and A2 are fixed known points on the line and B1, B2 are vectors parallel in the direction of the lines. Now I've drawn these two lines L1 and L2 on two parallel planes and also marked on the fixed known points A1 and A2 here. Now the shortest distance between these two skew lines is this yellow one here. It is a line that is perpendicular to both of them. It's not so clear but if I just turn that a little bit like that hopefully you can see it now. And if I was to view it from above that point appears to be the intersection of the two lines. Now if I just move that back to roughly where it was before then this distance between the two lines is the same distance that it is between the two planes. And what I've got here is another line that is exactly the same distance starting from the point A2 on the line L2 and it's perpendicular to this plane and perpendicular to the plane above. So this blue line will obviously be the same distance then as this shortest distance here. You'll also notice that I've drawn a vector going from A2 to the point A1. And what this does is it gives us a right angle triangle. I'll just rotate that a bit more so hopefully you can start to appreciate that right angle triangle in there. Now what I'm going to be doing in order to find this shortest distance is work off this right angle triangle here and calculate this length down here, the blue line. And we can do that by using basic trigonometry. So if we mark that triangle in on the diagram here, you can see we've got the distance D here and the line joining A2 to A1. It's a right angle triangle, I've drawn it in kind of perspective view here, and let's say the angle between D and A to A1 is theta. Now if I was to view this side on, it's going to look something like this with our points A to A1, the origin O. And so the vector going from A2 to A1 will be A1 minus A2. Now, using basic trigonometry, we can work out that distance D, hence the shortest distance between the two lines, L1 and L2. By normal trigonometry for right angle triangles, the cosine of theta would equal the adjacent side D over the hypotenuse. So rearranging that, we see that the length D is equal to the magnitude of the vector a1 minus a2 that's the length of the hypotenuse then times the cosine of the angle theta. Now if I take a unit vector in the direction of d then I can say that this is exactly the same as the magnitude then of a1 minus a2 and the magnitude of a unit vector is just 1, so I can insert that there. We'll just put a circumflex over that, d, and this times the cosine of angle theta. Now this is the scalar product, or dot product, between two vectors. Those two vectors are the vector a1 minus a2, okay, dotted with the unit vector d, d with a little circumflex there. And that distance d has to be positive, so what I'll do is I'll put a mod sign around the outside of that. Now for the unit vector d, we get this by knowing that d is perpendicular to the lines L1 and L2, so it must be perpendicular to the two direction vectors B1 and B2. And we can get a perpendicular vector by doing the cross product between B1 and B2. 
Once we've got that vector, we can make it a unit vector by dividing by its magnitude. So taking this further then, what we've got here is that this is equal to the vector a1 minus a2. And for d, that vector then is going to be b1 crossed with b2. That gives us a perpendicular vector to L1 and L2, but we need to make it a unit vector, so we divide it by the magnitude of B1 crossed with B2. And then we've got the modulus sign all the way around the outside here. So that's the way then that we find the shortest distance between two skew lines. And in the next video, what I'll do is a numerical example, which you might even want to uh, try. Okay?